Right then, I'm going to do a very small video indeed. It's around about the 7th of June 2021 and I it was a nice weekend but it was heaving with people because it was the, the weekend at the end of the half term. It's also not long that all people have been released and restrictions lifted. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Western Supermare was like a giant car park, plus there was loads and loads of people. It was a nice day and I did manage to get out in the wood on Saturday, where most people were on the beach, so I, that wasn't too bad. But all my cameras are playing up now, I desperately need a new one. But I won't get a new one until I know I'm going to go away. Um, because this will do for now, but it is a very, very grey day. Uh, none, nothing is really piercing about the photographs on a day like this. I mean, out there we've got Breen Down and Steep Home there. Further over we'll have Just Getting It In, Flat Home. Look how grey that is. Now, when it, I've been there and taken pictures here when it's been absolutely magnificent. There's blue sky, Crook's Peak has stood out majestic on guard duty. You could see over on the Welsh coast, you could see Hinkley Point from here over through that gap there. This is, there could be a 2% chance of rain, they said as well. But I had to get out. It's not a bad day for a walker. It's, it's about 16 degrees. Uh, a bit more when you're walking because you generate heat. So um, I walked up through the quarry a minute ago, took a few photos. I don't think this will be a very photographic type day, to tell you the truth, because um, it is so grey. I mean, there might be pockets of... Um, there's dog rosa. There might be pockets of sunshine, but it's going to be mostly cloudy. And it's not brilliant all week. It was supposed to be sunny today, according to yesterday. So I started getting my bag packed last night in preparation to get the early bus. And uh, it was supposed to be sunny today. It's been sunny all weekend. But like I said, I tend to like to go out on the quieter times um, because otherwise you know you've got herds of people it's just not the same and you can't do your videos but today the weather's not very good but I have videoed this route and if people know me and they follow me or whatever and they go on YouTube or on my blogger there will be some really good videos of my walk here this is really just a brief mention of the walk and I'll probably do some in the wood. I'm going towards Roeborough Hillfort today which once again will be terrible for photography because it's so grey. Um, so unfortunately that's the set but what it is you have to take it as it is. Do you know what I mean? You have to accept the See, it's already a misty rain now coming. Now, I haven't brought an umbrella. So this could be what you call a complete failure, this walk. I've got a very, very light shower raincoat. It's not what I call waterproof. Um, I'm going to be looking for dry areas to shelter in if it gets any heavier. At the moment it's a fine mist and I'm up high so you know I would notice it. I mean if it started to chuck it down I have to change my whole journey. I have to change the whole thing. Even go back and get the bus back. Um, I haven't come out carrying umbrellas. Um, I nearly did, but it said 2% rain. Well, that 2% could be nasty, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, the last time I walked along here was a, probably about a year or so ago. I do like to come this way because it's so beautiful. Um, but uh, we'll find out where we're going in a minute. 
I'm going down towards Roebarrow Hillfort, Dalbury Warren. I'm going to go up the hill for it and down the other side, then weave my way through the wood, then head back, following a bit of the West Mendip Way, to Shipham. From Shipham, I'll skirt across country. There's, there's a risk of one field of cows that I've got to negotiate. Only one field. Now, last couple of times I've gone, they've not been in there. But it is the summer. So I'll be going past Shipham and uh, skirting Shipham really. I took a little back route. In, fa in fact, there's two fields. There is another field where I might possibly, the humpy bumpy ground, the, where the um, miners used to puddle for some sort of mineral. It might be called puddling. I'm not quite sure actually. I always forget. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to turn off now because my camera gets damp and then it won't take anything. So, there's lots of walks up weaving in and out and I'll be coming up to a gate now. And I'll be able to get onto the main track. Down to Dolbury, a little tiny hamlet. Where I'll pick up a nice little crooked lane where there's lots of shelter. I mean, this is a nice little copse here of gnarled trees it's nice and quiet look at that one oak tree he's seen a few people pass by yeah so over and out <laughs> 